Hello everyone, I'm Raja Rao. I'm really thrilled to showcase the Apple Tools for Selenium IDE tool because over the years, Apple Tools has built an incredible AI technology and has built truly innovative features such as root cause analysis, UI version control, automated maintenance, and so on. However, to see them in action, you had to download our SDKs, import our SDKs, and install various dependencies such as Selenium Web Driver, and also write code in order to see them in action which meant it was a bottleneck for people who don't do programming. But for the first time, with Apple Tools for Selenium IDE, anyone can write tests and see all these features in action in minutes. And that too, without writing a single line of code. It's pretty amazing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to install both the Selenium IDE extension and Apple Tools for Selenium IDE extension in your browser. And currently, both these extensions are supported in both Chrome and Firefox browsers. So you can choose either one of these browsers for recording and creating tests. But the good news is that once you create the test, you can use the Selenium command line tool to run against IE or any other browser supported by Selenium. For this demo, I'm going to use Chrome browser. So I will install both the Selenium IDE and Apple Tools for Selenium IDE extensions to Chrome browser. To install the Selenium IDE extension, either directly go to the Chrome Web Store and search for the extension or go to the Selenium IDE's homepage and then click on the Chrome download button. I'm doing the latter. And by the way, majority of the star ratings are for the previously deprecated version of the Selenium IDE. So don't worry about that. Now in order to install Selenium IDE, simply go to Chrome Web Store and search for Apple Tools for Selenium IDE. And click on Add to Chrome button to install the extension to the browser. And now that we have both the extensions, let's see how to use them. Now, when you click on the Apple Tools for Selenium IDE extension, it will ask you to enter the API key and the server URL. You can get the API key by signing up to Apple Tools, and the server URL is by default ice.applitools.com. So you can leave this field as it is, but can be different if you're running an on-prem solution. Now I have logged into Apple Tools account to grab the API key. and paste it in the API key field in the extension to get started. And now it's asking me to open the Selenium IDE extension to record the test. The Selenium IDE extension provides you with various options to get started, such as record a new test in a new project, open an existing project, and so on. I'm gonna choose the first option so that I can show you how to create a new test in a new project. I'm gonna give the name demo project for our project. Now it's asking me for the project's base URL. This is the URL for the application that we are going to test. I'm going to enter applitools.com. And then I'm going to press start recording to record the test. Notice that there is a little message saying Selenium IDE is recording at the bottom right corner. Next, to visually test this page using applitools, I will click on the ICE extension and click on the check window to add the visual checkpoint for this home page. Next, I will navigate to the pricing page and again repeat the same process to add another visual checkpoint to the pricing page. Next, I will click on the contact us button so that I can request for demo. Here I'm gonna enter my name and my company name and then instead of checking the entire page, I'm gonna select the check element so that I can visually check the contact us form. Now, if you switch back to the Selenium IDE, you will notice that all the steps have been recorded. Now we can go ahead and select the ice check window command for the home page and add the step name home page so that it shows up in the Apple Tools test result. We can repeat the same thing for the pricing page and finally to the contact us form element. Next, I'm gonna stop the recording and then I'm gonna give it a name test one. Next, I'm gonna save this project to a file on my computer. This will not only keep the test safe, I can also use this file to run tests using the command line test runner. Now that the test is recorded, we have a choice to run it against a single browser, either on a local host or on a cloud provider such as Sauce Labs, and see the test results for just that one browser, or we can run using the Apple Tools Visual Grid option. In this option, you will still run the test as usual against a single browser, but every time there is a visual checkpoint, the ICE extension will upload the DOM snapshot to our Visual Grid. And over there, the Visual Grid will render the snapshot in multiple browsers and mobile simulators simultaneously. So in just seconds, you will be able to visually test multiple pages and in numerous combinations of browsers, viewports, and device orientations.
For this demo, I'm going to select the Visual Grid option. Note that this feature is offered as a free trial until March 31st. Next, I'm going to click on the I understand button. Next, I'm going to start selecting various browsers, viewports and device orientations that I want to test against. Notice that I have selected 38 device combinations and then about 10 browser combinations. And remember that we had three visual checkpoints, one for the home page, one for the pricing page and one for the contact us form. And all these three visual checkpoints will now be tested against all these 48 combinations. Okay, now let's go back to our test and run the test. Now the test itself is almost complete, but is waiting for the DOM snapshots to be uploaded to Visual Grid and rendered by the Visual Grid. This may take anywhere between 10 seconds to 30-40 seconds depending on the DOM size, the network speed and the number of combinations we are testing. Okay, looks like the test has completed successfully and at the end of the test, the eyes extension will automatically open the test results by default. This is the Apple Tools test dashboard. And you can see the results of all the 48 different tests over here. Now I'm back in the Selenium IDE. I'm going to put a breakpoint to the last step where we added visual checkpoint to the contact us form. This will run the test all the way till that point and allow me to make some edits to that form so that I can simulate a visual bug and show you some really cool Apple Tools features. Okay, now it has stopped at the breakpoint. Let me rearrange the windows so that I can make edits to it. Now I'm going to right click on the contact sales button and change its class name so it will look different. I'm going to remove the class name BTN so it looks like this. Now I'm going to go back and run the very last step. And as expected, the test has failed and the eyes extension has opened the test result in the background. Let's take a look. Notice that the first two visual checkpoints have passed, but the third one is marked as undecided, which means Apple Tools wants us to actually decide whether it is a pass or a fail. It will be a pass if this is a new feature. In that case, you are going to go ahead and then do a thumbs up at the top right corner. If it is a fail, then you can do a thumbs down and mark this step as a failure. Now if you're a QA engineer, it's a lot of work to properly report this issue to the developer. And if you're a developer, it could be even harder to figure out what's causing this issue. And that's where root cause analysis comes in. With root cause analysis, the QA engineer simply need to click on this toolbar button and click on the difference. And then it will show you exactly what changed in the front end DOM. You can see exactly what element has changed, what class name has changed, and what attributes have changed, and so on. Not only you can see it, but you can click on this little link and share it with the developer and they can see the current view and then quickly analyze the root cause and fix the bug. Now if you go back and look at all the test results, there are at least 48 tabs that are marked as undecided. Now manually marking each one of them as failure can be tedious. That's where automated maintenance comes in. If you mark one of the steps as either a pass or a fail, or use other features such as regions, Apple Tools will automatically find steps with similar differences and mark them likewise. That's pretty much all I wanted to showcase today. Just to summarize, we installed Selenium IDE, installed Apple Tools for Selenium IDE, used Visual Grid features, created and ran 48 different tests in seconds, used advanced features such as root cause analysis and auto maintenance, and the best part is, we did all these things without writing a single line of code. And that's the true power of the Apple Tools for Selenium IDE. And we hope that you are as excited as we are. So go ahead and use it and let us know what you think.